Good morning. Today we're going to take a look at the Day Camping DL7 19-in-1 multi-tool. It comes in this plain brown box and there's really nothing here other than the Day Camping branding and multi-tool pliers. So let's just take a look inside. So inside there's also nothing much other than the tool itself and we have here extra bits so the bits are a Phillips zero and a 2.5 millimeter flat head and then we have a T10 and T15 so these are torque screws And finally, we have a 6 millimeter flat head and a 4 millimeter flat head. So all of the bits have ball detents, which is what's used to hold them in place. So the tool comes in this sheath, and it's pretty good, I guess. It's got a belt loop and a snap closure. What it doesn't have is a pocket where you can put the extra bits in. So in the shell 18-in-1 multi-tool, there's a pocket here. So that's where you usually slip the extra bits in. So we don't have that here. So here's the tool itself. It has these titanium scales like the Leatherman Charge TTI, which is the main selling point of this tool. And it does seem to be titanium. It's got that um, grayish color and relatively warm feel. So here it is opened. So the head is a little bit different from the typical clone. So this one actually looks like the head of the free multi-tool series. The tip is nice. No play. So we have the gripping surface here and then the bolt gripper here and then the wire cutters both for the soft wires and the hard wire and then the pivot is where you can see where it came from so china and then there's also this wire crimper here so it looks nice So on the outside we have these tools, so it's still a little bit stiff, but it should break in with use. So we have a plain edge knife. So it's a familiar shape. It's got a thumb opening hole that is chamfered here. And then it's locked using this liner lock, and to unlock it, you just press it. And then we have here scissors, big scissors, so so this is a major feature of this tool a full-size pair of scissors so they look good and they look sharp they feel sharp also so it's also lockable and then on the other side we have A serrated edge blade with a gut hook at the end just like the one on the Leatherman charge the same thumb hole chamfered and then lockable 
Finally, we have a saw, a wood saw, and it's got sharp and pointy teeth. So on the inside, let's see. So we have the by now familiar bit holder. So this is a standard bit holder, so it holds standard hex bits. One fourth inch or 6.35 millimeter hex bits. So we have both Phillips and flathead. It's held in place by a detent, a ball detent. And then it's locking. So we have the release mechanism here. Just press it in and it's closed. So on the other side, we have a file and a flat head. So this one is a Chris Scott file, but it doesn't seem to be very aggressive. But it has this diamond coated file and this one looks good and feels good. This is usually what's missing in the multi-tools where you have big scissors. So it's good that they somehow alleviate that problem with this one. And then we have an awl. It doesn't look like it's pointy, but I can feel the point. It will definitely poke a hole if you push hard enough. So they're a little bit cramped here. As you can see, there are no washers in between. I think there's one there, but that's about it. So that's the price you pay for having so many tools. And it's not too much of a problem, so it's still workable. And you have here something new that you don't usually find in the Chinese multi-tools. So it's actually a bit holder for the precision screwdrivers. So we have here a Phillips head. And then on the other end, a flat head. So we just slide it inside here. So you have two precision screwdrivers. And then you have a bigger flat head that can also be used as a pry bar. Lightweight prying, I guess. It's a little bit thinner. But yeah, better than nothing. And finally, you have a can opener, bottle opener. And of course, it can also be used as a package opener. So this is pretty sharp. And then we have here a wire stripper. And the last tool is the ruler. So we have it in inches and centimeters all the way to around seven and a half inches and 19 centimeters. So that's all the tools there are in this multi-tool. And unfortunately there is no pocket clip and I don't think there's a way that you can put one in, which is fine because this is actually a tool that I would consider better used with a sheath rather than clipped onto your pocket. But of course, to each his own. So if you like pocket clips, then you will be missing that one here. And that's it for my unboxing and overview of the Day Camping DL7. It has a really good tool set, probably something useful for fishing because of this um, scissors and the file here, which is useful for sharpening hooks. And I think it differentiates enough from the Leatherman Charge 
to have a character of its own. And at just $40, $50, it's really hard to beat. Thank you for watching.